This is uh, a, a sort of a, an example of what the app will look like during the Olympics. Um, we have designed it in such a way that we want it to be really, really easy to use on connected TV devices. I mean, that goes without saying, but actually, you know, I think we've learned that that's a very difficult thing to do on connected TV when you're trying to cram all the functionality of, the, of a website into a five-point navigation system. Uh, it's, it's a big UX challenge. Uh, but if you come in during uh, kind of, you know, day six, day seven of the games, and you load up our application on one of our supported devices, you'll immediately be shown the most interesting live events that are going on at that time. We have an editorial team choosing these, and it's the same uh, kind of selection across all platforms, so you will get the channels that are showing BBC uh, Olympic content at that time, and the four most interesting events as selected by BBC Sport journalists. The interface expands out to the right-hand side, so any other events that are taking place are kind of shown in columns like so, up to a maximum of 27 simultaneous streams at any one time. When you choose an event to watch, like so, video loads, selected fully. Uh, so this is obviously not a little content because the game hasn't started yet, uh, <laughs> but uh, this is a simulcast to BBC One just to get a sort of live playback video does work. Uh, there's a, a kind of transport panel control to give you an indication of um, how long is left in the event during the uh, actual games? It'll be live event information, you were saying, you know, kind of one hour gone, three hours left, that kind of thing. And one of the innovations you've introduced is a, a kind of an event switcher. If you press up in the remote day time, you get this overlaid uh, menu of the screen, which allows you to choose any other live event without going back to the home menu. Um, if I press up and go back to the menu screen, uh, over on the far right, I just want to demonstrate uh, one of the features you've introduced, which is a, a coming up panel. Uh, during the games, what you'll get is the next most interesting event comes up here with the title, the time it starts out, a little description. And then over on the far right hand side, you'll see uh, kind of the four next most interesting events coming up. And that's a kind of direct response to. Um, the feedback that we had of the years about the red button multi-speed service on Sky, uh, free view, FreeSat and uh, Cable, where uh, users always kind of said that they didn't really know what was going to happen next on that service. So in this, at any time, there will always be a point of reference saying, here are the next live events that are going to happen. Over on the left-hand side of the uh, screen, um, so it's a one uh, so we've designed this service to kind of feel like a timeline. So right in the middle of the screen you get the live stuff, on the right hand side you get what's coming up next, and on the left hand side you get uh, stuff that you'll have missed. So there's only a, a few items in here just to kind of demonstrate the feature at the moment, but this will stretch kind of off to the left and users will be able to click through kind of sort of 40 to 50 uh, kind of two, three minute YouTube star clips of the most interesting things that they've missed. So at any time you can come to the service and kind of pick up where you left off in a few of our eyes and see the most interesting uh, in moments of uh, key races or medal wins or whatever. Uh, and likewise, whenever you choose one of those events, uh, internal BBC Network is not having its best day. But while these, are, while these uh, videos are playing, you can likewise choose, like so, and move to a different uh, catch-up video in the same way you come to live. Thanks, so um, all of this application uses exactly the same data that we're producing for web, for mobile, for TV. So we don't have one team of journalists over here for the website, one team over here for connected okay, TV. It's exactly the same data which you pick up out of a database that runs this service. Very, very efficient from that point of view. And I mean, there's been a lot of conversations about legacy this morning, and uh, both in terms of the technological improvements that we've made to do this, and also how it will be reused in the future. One of the things I'm very proud of is that we've worked really, really hand in hand with the connected TV industry to build in support for live streaming. And we've been having those conversations for really about, about 18 months now. And when we first went out to talk to companies like, like Sony and some of our other partners, you may be surprised to hear there was very limited support for actual live event streaming on connected TV devices. And we've worked hand in hand to help those companies bring in support for HLS streaming and uh, other types of streaming as well, and kind of work with them on. Uh, you know, best practice implementations, improving what they've done, and, and likewise, they've helped us with uh, some of our uh, encoding setup as well. So it's been a very, uh, very integrated project from that perspective. Yeah. From a, so should we? Should we, do you mind sort of just yeah, yeah. a little bit more, and then we'll talk a little bit about IVP as well? Yeah. So one Excellent. final point, uh, which is around the legacy. 
uh, what we've done for the Olympics, we think scales to all the sports events, and in some res some respect, we actually have about three games legacy uh, because we will be making our next big release of this application in time for Wimbledon. If I go to the bottom of the screen to the uh, choose sports section, I can choose the sport, uh, change the sport that I'm currently focused on. If I go to Wimbledon, you can see that exactly the same proposition is here uh, for the Wimbledon tournament: BBC One, BBC Two, four big live events uh, coming up section and catch up uh, content as well. So during, um, you know, we'll, we'll be doing more live streams in this application than we ever have done on the TV device before. So you can kind of see the benefits of what we've done for the Olympics already starting to kick in. That's great. Just so you would 